What is going on you guys, John Barcyclers here and today we have something new so we have a body here and it's for my Axial SCX10 all aluminum and carbon fiber crawler and it's not a power wagon like I was uh, going to do it is something very newer this, this very very lovely Dodge Ram 1500 this thing is gonna be so sick for this crawler it's gonna suit it good so yep this is what I went with uh, the hobby shop did not have the power wagon but that's fine this I think this will look more better actually for it but uh, yeah I'm happy with my purchase this looks amazing so yeah this video hopefully is going to be a, uh, a tutorial I never done this but I seen people do it so heck yeah might as well try it so when you go to buy a body for your RC you may note that it is uh, clear like this and uh, I don't know if someone watching may have done this mistake but please do not paint this from the outside these bodies get painted from the inside especially the the, uh, the clear ones the hard bodies yeah with from the outside if I'm not mistaken but these ones, the clear body, the regular pre, uh, clear body ones, yeah, this is, this is it. So yeah, let's go ahead guys and get to uh, painting and uh, assembling this one. Okay guys, so you also might note that this is also comes included with the, uh, the mold. So you're going to have to cut this plastic as you can see from the wheel arches and around the body you don't have to cut that off before you do anything because that is the main this is the first first procedure you have to do to this that is the first procedure this is 360 around it so let me show you the tools you need to have okay guys so these are the tools you need to have mainly for uh, cutting out a clear body this is a special type of scissor which as you can see it has a curve to it so it, it actually helps you cut the curves and this is a tool called a body reamer as you can see this is like a cone shaped tool but this helps you to drill out instead of like going with the driller just you put this on me you rotate it and uh, it drills out the hole and you have how much you can uh, you can rotate it how much you want and it drills the hole just do not uh, oversize them but yeah we, we will be using this later uh, after we cut out the body from the mold but first we have to use this and then uh, you can either use hot soapy water from the inside to clean it up because you have to like uh, put a aggressive surface where the paint can stick from the inside and in this case I'm going to be using this uh, foam sponge that you usually wash the dishes with because it like has this aggressive surface it's going to make create tiny crevices where the paint is going to grab onto it and we have some brake clean which is going to degrease the surface for the paint to be strong and have a good bond and uh, yeah make sure to have that because your paint can uh, can peel if you don't degrease the surface right so make sure to do that and also please do not use regular hardware uh, spray paint yes I have official RC uh, paint you buy this from the hobby shop yeah here you go I'm going to be painting it red the cab and stuff and I'm going to be le leaving the wheel arches and the bed back black so you know it will have a very scale look and uh, yeah so let's start cutting this thing out of the mold
Okay guys, so at this point, just have to test fit the body on the car and you have to adjust to how you how you want it to sit and in my case I have to raise the uh, the front body posts okay guys so she's on it's not looking half bad from the back the body posts actually are good and I also can adjust them easily by that uh, body pin system that this has and I came across a bit of a problem in the front because the body posts do not reach the body here is like I don't know half an inch to maybe less of a distance between the body and the uh, the body posts and also this thing is looking great but uh, I don't know it has to be lowered a bit so what I'm gonna be doing is getting my marker and marking where the uh, bumper posts are so I can cut a bit of the bumper out of the body so it can fit on the actual bumper on the crawler so it also looks more great I suppose Okay guys, so it looks just about right. So what I went ahead and did, ignore these marks, these are the right ones. I just aligned the body posts and uh, marked where the holes has to be. And so it's moving a bit, a bit around. But uh, yeah, even the back ones, uh, these are the wrong ones, these are the right ones. So now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do don't bother me because this is my first time is get my body reamer and start uh, drilling the holes and be careful not to enlarge the hole more than the mark so you don't have get an oversized hole Okay guys, check it out, thing is mounted on and it looks absolutely fantastic. I can lower it, I can lower it from the back, that's no problem, I can do that. But it fits very tight because even though I cut uh, the slots, I did not want to cut them a, a very very low because yeah, as you can see, without compressing the suspension it already kind of hits. So in the future I may trim this up a bit, but for now I'm gonna leave it like it is. But uh, yeah, so it it uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. It suits this uh, this this crawler, but uh, it, I have some issues kinda. These body posts, they the hole where the body pin goes is like very very small, so it does not allow me to. Um, access that right now because so now I just have some M3 screws holding the thing in which are temporary I will find a solution or maybe get some other body posts I don't know but uh, yeah I this is my first time guys so excuse me I know what to do but you know I just I'm coming across you know kind of like problems and I'm trying to solve them so yeah hang on but the next exciting, exciting pro, um, uh, step is to finally go ahead and scuff this thing from inside so we can go ahead and start masking for paint.
Okay guys, so after like two hours of straight masking or a bit less, I say hour and a half, two hours, this thing took a lot of time because I I really wanted this to be precise because this is going to be an epic, epic thing when it's done, you know, so I don't want it to be like full of errors, so yeah, it's all messed up where I need to be and first I'm gonna give it a uh, coat of red uh, red spray and then after it cures I peel off all the masking and on all spray on all uh, black so yep let's go ahead and get the painting Okay guys, so the red coat is dried and now what I have to do is get, uh, peel off the masking except for the windows and so I can obviously spray the rest of it black. So we seal the red and uh, spray and paint where I have to paint black. Okay guys, so all the areas where I want black are a must as you can see and so it's time for paint. Okay guys, so she's all finished up, all she needs now is the, uh, the final reveal, I just have to peel off the uh, overspray uh, plastic film that is on it and uh, to stick on the stickers, so let's go ahead and do the, uh, the unwrapping kind of thing, you know, let's go ahead and reveal it, see how it came out, but it came out awesome, I mean, the finish just looks amazing, so I can't wait to see the final final look with the stickers and everything so let's go ahead and do that This thing is looking beautiful guys, check it out. As you can see it removes the overspray and I think it looks absolutely stunning. thing is looking great for it first time I've never done something like this so this is looking absolutely absolutely fantastic guys first time ever I've never done this so yeah this is absolutely incredible for me Ooh. let's peel off the window masks Check this thing out guys, wow that thing is so glossy, 
thing looks absolutely fantastic wow not bad for first time this thing looks amazing guys let's, let's get these stickers on okay guys check this thing out this thing is finally finally finished after a long time spent like half an hour messing with these stickers because I had to cut them out individually and then stick them on because yes they are not uh, cut separately from factory so I had to do that but this thing is looking so sick now guys thing looks absolutely fantastic I did not expect it to turn out this good I mean even that that uh, hood like where I painted black that thing looks awesome not because I done it guys but man this is for first time I did not expect it to be this I thought it would like come um, it would like come out like a mess but this thing looks absolutely fine I mean it looks absolutely absolutely good I like it I just I'm in love with this so let's see how it looks on the actual crawler okay guys check her out it looks absolutely absolutely gorgeous I did not expect her to come to look this good on it actually it suits it it suits it so nice I don't regret the choice of the body it looks absolutely amazing guys let's get some montage of this you'll love it okay guys so hope you like that little montage I do my best I'm not a pro on those but hey I think this looks absolutely absolutely good man I'm liking it I like the color this red somehow suits these rams so good for some reason they look so good in it like I got another red and black themed here and it's a Mopar as well uh, Mopar is Chrysler products which are Dodge Jeep and you know all the other stuff so these things look so good in red especially and uh, I like the two-tone which I went with this thing looks absolutely fantastic so yep shout out to Simon models hobby shop guys for supplying me with this uh, pro line body and uh, the paint as well and some other parts that he always supplies me with so shout out to him link to his site and in the description and also Facebook page go check the guy out he's a very very nice guy uh, you can message him and tell him what you want and uh, he has everything in stock check out his site so absolutely absolutely awesome guy he's a big friend of mine so go check the guy out he is he's great so yep thanks to Simon and these are the uh, the extra extra stickers that I was left with and I did not stick these on especially the Proline ones because I wanted this to look like scale I only did one sticker here but that does not like affect the scale if I went with a big sticker right here Proline and Proline you know people would go what the heck is Proline you know just I want it to look real you know this is not like that race car style look and stuff so I think it looks absolutely decent with these and you might have noticed I got some um, accessories here like this cool coca crate coca-cola and I did not stick this for them because I wasn't sure but would you think it would look great I think it would it would look great right there I also have a 3d printed battery right there and also this extinguisher that I should have the bracket of that somewhere 
and I was wondering if the better would look, would look good there and like that in the middle. I don't know. Would you? I think I think you guys dig it. So let me uh, let me know what you guys think in the description. I mean in the comments, and uh, I'll go with it. But I think I will do them in the future, or right <laughs> after I end the video. I don't know, but this thing looks so cool, on it, guys. So I think yeah, I think I I, I will do them. I dig it. I think it looks cool. Let let me know guys what you think and this thing is looking so good now. I can't believe I yeah, I knocked it out with this uh, paint job. All I have to do now mainly is figure out this body uh post solution. I think I have to get uh, longer ones. I'm not going to like force the body down anymore. That's my solution right now. But we'll see guys, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But no problem guys, we'll see you in the next video, uh, thanks for your collaboration guys, and uh, for subscribes and your support, keep on doing it guys, let's reach uh, more limits, you know, <laughs> let's, let's reach more subscribers and stuff, so yep, thanks guys for watching this video, follow me, follow me on my social media, Facebook page, Facebook group, and uh, like my Facebook page, comment down below what you think on this build. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. This is the reason why I bought this. I wanted to experiment. I wanted to not be scared anymore and try it myself. And I think I knocked it out. This is the thing that I'm satisfied the most. Wow, of all the builds. Thanks guys and see you in the next one.